It's been almost 40 hours with this bag. I am now on hour 37 out of 40. I only need to make $80 in the next four hours to hit my goal. And of course, we're gonna work all four hours to make it a full 40 hour work week. It should be pretty easy. I've been averaging close to $30 an hour this week. And so averaging $20 for this shift shouldn't be a problem. We got started off with a tropical smoothie order. And uh, I usually never go to this store just because like every time I get an offer from them, it's either like three or four dollars, like usually awful. And so usually when I see them pop up on my phone, I'm like, that's an instant decline. But I mean, $6.75, that could be a hidden tip. And so I'm always looking for those hidden tips. Was not a hidden tip, but still a good start to the day since it only took about 10 minutes to complete that. All right, thank you. Next one was a pretty big order from Pita Jungle. I didn't have to drive too far for this one, and it's one of my favorite restaurants. I actually got $13 for this one. I wasn't expecting anything to be hidden because I was shown $11 on the acceptance screen, but it's really nice to get those extra $2 and closer to my goal. I was actually still in Pita Jungle when I accepted this Grubhub order, and uh, I think I did a good job by accepting it so early because I accepted it and I still had like 15 minutes until the pickup time. Just something that I've been learning on Grubhub is it might be better to accept the order on Grubhub when uh, you're actually not even prepared to go to the restaurant right away. I don't know if this is a great long-term strategy, but it's working out for me because I don't think the order was ready for too long when I got to the restaurant. As I was about four to five minutes away from dropping off that first Grubhub order, I got another one for Panda Express. And in the past, I've not been wanting to go to Panda Express, but I think they've been consistently getting better. And so I decided to accept this one because it was over $10. I'm like, great, I just need a couple more of these big orders and I'll be set. After hour number one, we are basically halfway through the daily goal of $80, $39.25. Whew, they're very nice being able to do four orders in that first hour when I didn't know if it was going to be too busy until like five o'clock, but 4.30, that got started off really well. The next one we got was a stack from DoorDash, uh, a little further distance than I would like to drive considering I did have to come all the way back to the hotspot, so it added like an additional four or five miles. But $18, like it's hard to pass that one up. And so I went back to Tropical Smoothie and then the order was ready when I walked in there. And then the CVS, I only had to shop for two items. No hidden tips on those either. Now there's some nice peak pay. And so this $9 order came through for DoorDash and it was less than a mile. Like, I think that's like the highest amount I've been paid for less than a mile. Actually, a couple days ago, I accepted an order for Uber Eats for like $12 for 0.4 miles for Taco Bell. But the restaurant usually has about 10 to 15 cars in the drive-through and their lobby's still not open. And uh, I accepted it looked at their drive-thru, and then I just unassigned that. Now we are $5 away from hitting that $1,200 weekly goal. And uh, whew, I am kind of tired. Uh, usually I do not deliver seven days out of the week. I feel like that's what's made it so tiring. Uh, not that I've been like delivering for so long every single day, because it's just been 40 hours this week. But uh, I am really excited that I don't have to accept every order from Grubhub. And I know you probably wanted to see a video like that because those videos always do really well on YouTube. Um, I'll do it eventually. I'll come up with a new challenge and uh, that can be my punishment next time. Got about two hours left and I'm um, just gonna see how much money I can make. Hopefully we can get some good orders to end out this shift. Up next was this DoorDash stack for $17. There were no issues in the restaurant. Dropped them off to the customer. No problems with that either. And then when that was completed, I did it. Over 
$1,500 for the week in under 40 hours. But like I said, I had to finish out the four hour shift for this to become official. So with the next order, I got this Uber Eats order and this one was nice for me because I thought I could get a hidden tip on this. And uh, <laughs> there was a hidden tip. There was eight cents hidden. So uh, $11.58 for that order. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get a little more, but I mean, that's an over $8 tip. So I can't complain about that. And then I got this add-on order for Uber Eats for Chipotle. And uh, I really can't complain about this. I like to going to this Chipotle. Uh, the only problem was I had to wait like 10 minutes or 15 minutes for them to make my food, which uh, I was trying to get another DoorDash or a Grubhub order, uh, but nothing good was coming to my phone. Dropped off that Uber Eats order. And for the remaining like 40 minutes of my shift, it was so slow. And uh, I kept getting like some offers, but most of them, were sending me at least like seven or eight miles and they were good payouts, but like seven or eight miles in, I was just declining it in hopes of something better would happen, but uh, nothing did. And I was like, mm, well, I hit my goal. So I think that's all I need to do for the day. I was trying to get a good order, just that nothing came to my phone. And I was like, okay, like if I'm not getting a good order, then that's fine. It was just so slow. DoorDash, Uber Eats and Grubhub all running but just nothing, and that's okay. That means for today, Grubhub $19.50 for two orders, Uber Eats slightly better with $20 in two orders, and then DoorDash was huge for me today, $64 in seven orders, bringing the 40 hour total to $1,232. Woo, I, I'm pumped that I made it. When I set this goal as $1,000 on day one, I was really hoping I could do it. And then on day three, when I was like, you know what, let's bump it up to 1200. I was kind of worried I wasn't gonna make that, but I am very happy with the results. The breakdown of all of the apps for this entire week, Point Pickup, I did two orders for $23.19. My third highest paying app was Grubhub with $356.47 over 32 orders. I uh, I guess I can't really complain. Like their average a dollar per order was actually pretty good. And uh, now I'm wondering if I should actually accept every order with Grubhub. Of course, I don't want to do that. But like I said, I'll have to create another challenge for myself and that can be the punishment. For DoorDash, it was $388.88 over 50 deliveries. I think that's by far my worst dollar per order, but it's DoorDash, so uh, I'm willing to accept it. Uber Eats, $464.90 over 42 orders. I am so happy that Uber Eats was my highest paying app because if DoorDash was my highest paying app, that means I wasn't getting anything good from Uber Eats or Grubhub. And uh, yeah, so that brings the total to just over $1,200. Very, very happy. And uh, I'm excited about the market that I'm in because I feel like I can get some pretty massive earnings if I decide to do a challenge for longer than 40 hours a week. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this series. I hope you enjoyed every video that came out of this week. Yeah.